Recently, I cut up one of my insoles to fit in Barb's shoe. This all started a few weeks ago when Barb jammed a splinter into her foot. I tried to pull it out, but some of it broke off, so we ended up at urgent care. The doctor managed to remove some more slivers, but she had to quit when the local anesthesia couldn't dull the excruciating pain. She insisted that Barb meet with a foot surgeon. Basically, here's what the surgeon said. I don't know if there's still something in there or not, but if I did surgery now, it would cause extensive tissue damage because it's so deep. Instead, wait a few weeks. If there is a foreign body in there, the pain will worsen, or it will get inflamed, or a lump will form under the skin. If those things happen, call me. By that time, there will be an abscess around the foreign body, which will let me know exactly where the problem is so I can remove it. Of course, by foreign body, he meant a piece of the splinter. This sounds familiar. Barb just published a book that covers the same topic from a spiritual point of view, except it was me who had the buried splinter. Well, actually the book is more about her buried splinters, but we'll share more about that in the coming days. Here's what I want to share today. We were made to love and be loved. Things like pride, bitterness, and insecurity. These are foreign bodies. Even little tiny bits of them can cause trouble deep in our souls. Even if they're buried and we can't see them. Maybe I think there's a splinter buried deep in my spouse's soul. But like my doctors, I evaluate the situation and realize if I try to dig it out now, I'll damage a lot of good tissue. So even though I want to help, sometimes the best thing I can do is wait. In John chapter 16, verse 12, right before Jesus was arrested, he spoke to his disciples. He said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. It wasn't that Jesus wanted to hide truth from them. It wasn't that he didn't desire to remove all the imperfections in their lives. But it just wasn't the right time. Their fear and lack of trust festered a little while longer. Then it rose to the surface. And then, with the Holy Spirit's help, it was removed. Jesus knows we can only bear so much at one time. Be patient with each other as you work through tough stuff. Don't be too anxious to start cutting into someone else to remove their imperfections. You could cause more harm than good. Pray that when the time is right, they'll invite God, the master surgeon, to perform surgery that will eradicate that splinter for now and forever. Thanks for trekking with the foxes. And please check out our new look and our new website at foxtrex.com. Mm-hmm.